I want to use this vertical abacus to express the way we use positional notation to express numbers in, in our base 10 system. Now the first thing I have to do is decide which of these wires I'm going to use for which powers of 10. Uh, I have my powers of 10 listed here. You notice that we go from 10 to the 0, which is 1, 10 to the 1st, 10 to the 2nd, 10 to the 3rd, which is 1,000, and lower we go 10 to the negative 1, which is 1 tenth, and 10 to the negative 2. So I have to decide which of these wires I'm going to put these on. Uh, we use the decimal point to specify the difference between the whole number part and the fractional part. So let me just label these things now. Okay, the wires are labeled now. And what I want to do is move these beads, which are on the back side. There are nine beads on every wire. I need to move those beads around to express anything on the ones wire uh, is worth one. Anything on the tens wire is worth ten. Uh, and I want to express this number. So here's the number I want to express in base ten on this abacus, 2305.46. So all we do is we just put the right number of wires, uh, right number of beads on the right wires. Uh, I need five on the ones wire. I need zero on the tens wire. Uh, that's why we have a zero in our number system. I need three on the hundreds, two on the thousands. On the right hand side, of course, I need to have fractions. So I need four on the tens wire, and I need six, maybe six on the hundreds wire. And the way you convert this is you just say 2,300, no tens, uh, five and four tenths and six hundredths, or 46 hundredths sometimes. So this is how the base 10 system is expressed using this abacus. I want to use this abacus later to do other bases. So I should mention that the, the vertical abacus is not a common form of an abacus. Most of the time the wires are, are tilted sideways because the, the, the beads would slide around on them. Um, so I want to express a number on, on this one and then show you what it would look like on a, on a regular kind of abacus. So here are some beads on the vertical abacus. Um, here's the vertical abacus, uh, the wires held vertically, and then when you turn it sideways to turn it into an actual abacus, a useful kind of thing, um, we, we see that they are, are labeled sideways like that. I'm going to express the same number on this horizontal abacus, and then we're just going to read the number off of the horizontal abacus. So here's the number on the vertical abacus. Here is the number on the horizontal abacus. I've just copied the number of beads on there and tilted it sideways. So how do we read this? Well, you just write the number of beads on every wire. You put a point right below the ones wire that separates the whole number from the fractions. Then you just read it off. 203.05 or 203.05.